Friday. I am at home by myself, of course, and I am straightening up a little bit. I can't decide to come pick up the camera and say what's up to you guys. Y'all, it be so, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, right now, being home and being able to get stuff done is great. Cause baby, this is an ongoing job every day. Like, we'll come home every day and go crazy <laughs> every day so yeah um i just swept the floor up in here i'm about to get ready to mop it i rarely mop the floor y'all but i mean i vacuum a lot and i sweep a lot because i have my kirby i never get like the real mop and a bucket fabuloso whatever you want to use i never i hardly ever do that fortune does it sometimes he mopped the kitchen sometimes but i never really just mop all the floors but as y'all know the boys the twins they are almost seven months it might be seven months by the time y'all watching this video um so they getting they getting active okay we is gonna start crawling in the seventh month okay that's what's going on so it's very very important it's so hard. Like, I sweep a lot. I sweep so freaking much because we have a dog. Although Rocco is a pit bull, so he has very short hair, it still sheds. So that little white hair be every freaking wear, which I hate y'all, and I really can't do anything about it unless I keep him out of certain rooms. And Rocco has never been like a dog to that has to stay in like a certain spot. Like he only he can't come here. Like he never been like stop you know he, he's never been that able to go in any room so that's the only thing um but we've been through this before with Will clearly um and you just you gotta make sure we sleep all the time like daily <laughs> sweeping all the time just so you know sweeping and mopping you know we would mop before when Will was a baby but I haven't mopped in a long time um since he's been walking around and stuff we keep the floor clean, y'all. We definitely still sweep. And fortunately, I'm out some time and I use the Kirby. But not no, like, real mopping. So, yeah. I'm about to get ready to do that because I gotta get these papers on the floor. They gotta get on the floor. So, I'm just gonna have to make this a part of my weekly, um, add it to my weekly chores. To mop the darn floors. I'm trying to see if I wanna get a rug in here. So, our living room space is pretty big oh yeah first of all it's no light on in here like the lights are off this is just the natural lighting coming from the windows so them trees being cut down definitely is bringing light in here <laughs> but anyways i um i need to organize i just need to figure out stuff like what basketball goal over here in this corner which is fine it's gonna stay there the twins right now they're definitely using the bouncers they definitely using these. <sighs> Gotta pick up random stuff. Um, they definitely using the bouncers. That's one of their like favorite toys right now. <laughs> so this is definitely still getting used. I'm trying to see. I was talking to Monet last night. Me and um our other friend, her other best friend, um, Shatara. We got her her stroller, and I can say it now because she knows about it. Um, I was going to the baby shower and y'all can still wait to the baby shower if y'all want to see <laughs> but she got that so I'm so happy she received it she got it the other day but um anyway so yeah they're still using the bouncers the swings y'all since they've been in the bouncers and been more active and want to like just be more busy they have not been in their swings y'all <laughs> It ain't been that, it ain't been like that long. But now that I'm thinking about it, when we come home, I used to put them in their swings. They've been in they going in their bouncers for the past like maybe week and a half, two weeks. I don't think we, unless they've been in their swings like on a weekend, one morning or something. They ain't been in their swings, so that is a big. <laughs> this is a big portion of our living room space. So yeah, I just want to see if Monet's gonna need any of this stuff. Yeah, this was this what be going on. This stuff's like people can have babies and you buy all this stuff. It's just like, what do you do with this stuff after the fact? This darn toy need to hush. This thing, you move it one time and it be going all day. <laughs> but yeah, like 
when you after the baby girl out and stuff, it's like this stuff just take up so much space. Like our living room is not that big. Like it's a good size, but it looks like a freaking daycare in here. Like at all times. <laughs> and I don't give me start on that playroom over there. But this room is like it got all the twins, like big toys in it. So yeah, I'm trying to see. They're gonna be in these. I know they're gonna be in these bouncers. My lady, not do until and she having three kids not two and she's having two girls and one boy if i haven't told y'all i know somebody asked in the comments and i've seen monet had responded already telling y'all but yeah she's having two girls and one boy but you know this stuff is like unisex so it doesn't really matter but yeah they're going to be in this probably for another couple months the swing that's what i'm trying to think about the swing although they haven't been in it in a couple weeks i know that we probably put wealth in his swing he was yeah he was kind of long he did not need to be in that swing i ain't gonna say he needed to be in it because he was still like like the as far as the weight requirements and stuff he was still you know capable of being in the swing but he just was looking so long in the darn swing so yeah i don't know how long we're gonna need these swings but she might be getting these swings because it's almost june now yes yeah, almost june She's doing August. The boys are about to be seven months. So they'll be like nine months. I don't know. It might keep. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to see what she want. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what Fortune thing. So we got swings. Those right there, I'm giving to her definitely. They're not even in those anymore. I was using those mostly for when, um, when they were like be in the kitchen with me when I would be cooking. Like they'd just like sit on the floor in there or whatever and we can kind of move it around. Granted, I could take this to like my mama house and still stuff, but now it, like I said at this point, they're not sitting like this. <laughs> they're at a critical point where they are about to get active. Like the the second half of the um the first year of the baby's life is like intense. And me and my boys, we're going hard about it, okay? <laughs> We're going hard. So, yeah, that's next six months. That first six months, that's that baby, baby phase. Okay, we getting all our lovey-dovey bonding. Cool, cool, cool. But them second six months, they learning major stuff. They sitting up. They're doing tummy time. They're crawling. They eventually start walking, pulling up on things. You know, it gets major <laughs> that second six months. So, yeah, they're not just sitting. That's why I'm like, this swing, I mean, it'll be cool for like... You know, if we doing something and they want to, um, they, they tired, they're sleepy, and they don't want to be bouncing, and they're downstairs, they could just get in their swings cool. Like I said, these, they haven't been in those in, like, over a month. Like, since before they went back to school. Like, it's been a minute. Um, yeah, so some of this kind of stuff can just start leaving <laughs> so i can get my space back i want to do some more things with the living room i want to get a rug down here i want to just make it i mean it's already it's, i think our living room is pretty cozy but i think we can do some more things to like make it more functional i mean it's functional but it's like so much stuff y'all it's so much stuff so yeah right now i'm just um working in here it's just sweeping, I said, swept the stairs and everything. And I'm about to get ready, I guess, to mop. I, damn, I, oh, I had put the playpen up. And I'm like, why is this stuff on the floor and I just swept? <laughs> but that's where the playpen was at. So let me sweep that area up. Um, We got this trash can out here. The people still ain't came to freaking haul this stuff up. I don't know what the heck we're going to do. I mean, luckily it don't look just bad, but this freaking fortune paid like over $400 for this trash can to be out here. Luckily, they're not tripping on how long it's out here, but I don't want this shit out here forever. But, um, like I don't know if all this is going to fit in here, but I kind of need to use this trash can. Fortunately, I already been throwing stuff in there. He brought through some big old boxes that we had um, in the garage and stuff away. But I need to throw these other boxes away because this is some stuff for Tram ordered off Amazon for shooting. But the boys' um, ear muffler things came in for when they go to the gun range. Who is it? So nosy. Me and Rock are nosy. Ooh, y'all, what if that would be so freaking crazy? It wouldn't be crazy, but um, I 
had, I've been, I've been thinking about it. You know, we ain't got a quote from the first people. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, about the trees. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're going to call you when we're ready. Like, it for sure sounded like guaranteed business. But then Mr. Calvin came to us the next day with his guy talking about a way better number. And I, I didn't feel like it was my friend. I didn't have to go follow up with you and let you know that I was going to somebody else. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> so, me and I did it. I did it not do it. But <laughs> I was like, what if they come over here to like follow up and then they see all the fucking trees cut down? Well, they'll be so sad. They're like, shh. We just lost so much money. Well, not really. They ain't lose nothing. Like I said, it ain't, ain't none of this shit guaranteed. And right, like around now, right now, in our neighborhood especially, it's so many people getting yard work done and trees cut down and stuff. So, baby, it's a competition. You came with a number. You should have shot. If you knew you were starting the thing off, I, I wasn't going to bargain you down. Because what he said for the front, he said like 4500 and then the guy who did it, I think it was like thirty three hundred. I remember being like a twelve hundred dollar difference, twelve or thirty. I can't remember the exact numbers, but and I'm not gonna even try to talk you down that much. Like I, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel like I'm trying you to even try to make you go down on your prices like that. So ain't even no point in letting you know. I ain't finna hell and no bargaining, and negotiating, and all this stuff. He said what he said, which was a lot less than what you said. So. We going over there. But I was like, like what? Like, you can't be <laughs> up there coming back here to follow up and like just see all the freaking trees gone. I'm like, oh shit. That would be sad. <laughs> but it was just like work trucks just driving slow. Like that's why I said it, because it was some work trucks driving slow by the house. But yes, you guys. I'm so glad laundry done. Like that be my worst. I feel like I be doing laundry for days. Like as far as folding and washing, I, mean, I normally have to go back to washing some more because today's Friday, so laundry got done. I was done doing auto laundry. I went on Wednesday, but of course laundry just piles up daily. So, but you know now, baby, clothes they pile up so quick. We don't be in thread down. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me clean up my house. I be like I've been trying to keep the kitchen clean. I really be trying to keep the kitchen clean. So I make sure I do that every day for the most part. I'm like washing the dishes and stuff. But you didn't see me. But yeah, I'm just rambling anyway.
Yeah, now the boys are almost seven months and they are not crawling, which is not, oh, it's okay. They don't, they don't have to be crawling yet, but I told them within this seven months, baby, we getting to it, okay? I tell y'all turn eight months, I need y'all crawling. The saying goes, man. I know.